so you know at the first when when i entered into an emergency room you know that was my uh-huh. first day when my fellowship began and my okay. first uh, visit was uh, you know uh-huh. was into an emergency center and i had to see an amputation so you know, wow. that was the first time <laughs> i was uh, seeing blood and first time i, I was seeing an amputation you know oh, i was right. really scared i was really scared uh, you know uh, i was allotted into the emergency in icu so i imagined all the kinds of stuff you know all the nightmares that uh, would be would have been coming through but and believe me they all yeah. came through because i was actually seeing everything that i imagined or i could uh, oh, you God. know foresee before i joined aims so uh, but you know uh, i think the nightmare the blood uh, mm-hmm. you know that uh, fear only you know uh, was uh, remnant for one week because you know after that you realized you're actually mm-hmm. you know facing you're all actually seeing what other people are facing mm-hmm. you're actually seeing yeah. the pain you're actually yeah. seeing what 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 can be done right to help these people you know uh, for example you know a cord mm-hmm. is a device that you have used to use to cut the muscles to cut tissue you know okay. so that was one thing that was in the amputation you had to cut muscles so you use a cotter it oh. is a handheld device that uh, you know gives electrical sparks so this style like a knife but it has uh, electricity going through it so you know you cut muscles through it and it cuts pretty easily but you know there are okay. a lot of fumes that come out from that cotter so all the fumes okay. have uh, microbes and uh, you know microorganisms that go into the suspended air and if they oh. are contacted to the doctor who's operating on the patients it can have a long term consequence so it is actually oh, dangerous for scary. the doctors who are cutting the tissue so then you wow. feel you know probably you could do something for them you know there is a suture yeah. suture is basically a needle used to stitch um, you know yeah. uh, to uh, to uh, cut uh, skin flaps so you know mm-hmm. if uh, if a patient is uh, hepatitis b positive or aids positive and that uh, mm-hmm. that uh, suture pricks the doctor mm-hmm. then the doctor contacts aids he contacts yeah. hepatitis b so you know yeah. there's a challenge towards this yeah. thing so you know after a time you realize you know, you you might be you might have a chance to do something good for the society or something yeah, good, good right. for the doctors you know doctors we consider right. as you know gods you know they save the save lives that is the best profession yeah. that there is so uh, yeah. you know and then a designer fall in, falls into that uh, you know that arena and you you feel the yes. same uh, you know same responsibility that uh, that you got to save doctors you got to save patients you've got to That's save really you've got interesting. to save lives so after some time the way you put it yeah after some times it, it gives it gives you pride of what what work you're doing yeah 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 i understand and uh, uh it is really interesting to know all these things because yeah. um we as uh, i have never been to uh you know a hospital for the design work you know oh, yeah. i haven't been there uh-huh. i haven't uh, put myself in that situation yeah. and i think the more you are exposed to those kind of things yeah and uh, the more you feel like okay you identify the problems and yeah. then you come up with solutions yeah the design process remains the same we follow the same yeah, thing the same we see the problems yeah. we form formulate about problem statement we ideate we yeah. prototype and then we test so it, the process remains the same just that you are in yeah, different but, place to yeah see. i think but but by the uh, end of it you also uh, talk uh, almost like a doctor oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you 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 know all the terms you know suturing yeah, uh, yeah. pottery yeah, and yeah. Uh, you yeah. know uh, a lot of other terms you get in your physiology yeah, yeah. pediatrics yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the departments I, i really didn't know all these departments pediatrics geriatrics yeah you know, gastronomy and <laughs> emergency <laughs> so yeah but now they are on the tip of my hands <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. i know i know So that's a really good perspective that you have given that uh, let it be designing a product uh, for yeah. a consumer electronic company or a medical device yeah. it the process remains the same the only thing is there are a lot more challenges with the medical devices yeah. and a lot more crucial because it is uh, for a human life yeah definitely so that makes it very um, you know um, uh something of great importance yeah. and uh, that has to be done with great caution also yeah that's true and yeah. you know sanjay i would like to add one more point you know even though challenging <laughs> even though you know it has a lot of uh, 
a lot of struggle you know getting uh-huh. your product tested for 10 years and going to introduce in the market but you know yeah. there's a lot of scope because not not everyone is uh, designing medical devices in india so there's a lot yeah, of scope that's true. there's a, there's a lot of that's opportunities true. that are currently mm-hmm. open and you know my fellowship is the one that uh, government of india is supporting so uh, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, the government is also very keen to get uh, indian made products you know so yes. because there's not much of it to here importing nowadays especially in medical devices yes. so there's a lot of opportunity there's a lot of scope yeah. that we see in the medical device industry yeah yes yes that's true that's really true and uh, um i think this uh, uh this is a big uh, uh, announcement uh, oh, yeah. kind of a thing for people who are you know interested in uh, making medical devices but yeah. yet uh, they are also into design oh yeah definitely. uh like whoever makes to think mm. uh, likes to make things yeah and uh, so this is something really good for them that uh, you know there is something out there really? for them as an opportunity that they can utilize and uh, you know there is uh, uh, there are a lot of opportunities like you said yes definitely so yeah this is something really good uh, that we've learned about today.